Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! You guys, I have a fabulous house up in the hills of Montauro Superiore, which sits on the Ionian coast. It has spectacular views, I'm about to show you. It has a garden with mandarins and oranges, and it has a lot of potential. This house um, sits about 10, 15 minutes away from the beach, about 20 minutes away from Soverato, 10 minutes away from Montepaone. So it's a great location. It's so cute up here. I've actually shot some videos of Montaro in the past, but today we're gonna to check out this house. So it does need work. It's Calabria dreaming after all. So, but it's uh, very affordable and there's lots of space. And like I said, outdoor space. All right, you have a garden, hello. So imagine, just dream with me, guys. Dream with me and see it fabulous, all right? Okay, everything new. So there are some challenges, but there are some great things about this house. I'm gonna show you. It's about 105 square meters. And um, here's a second level of the uh, terrace. And again, the I think these are this is an orange tree and a clementine tree. So uh, the gentleman who owns this house goes to my gym and this used to belong to his family, it belongs to him still. There's a little shed over there and it's been empty for about 20 years, which is just so sad. And you'll see it's a time capsule. So we're going back into like the 1950s here, but um, super cute outdoor area. I imagine this just manicured, well done, a little hammock, a table out here. You know, a lot of outdoor space. It's kind of hard to find in these old mid medieval villages. And Montauro is definitely very, very old. And so here, so this whole thing is yours, okay? So you, you, there's parking up here on the street. And then this stairwell and this patio area is yours. And he did say that they recently refilled the cement with iron. So this is all stable. There is some challenges in this house, but... I'm going to show you the whole thing and then I'm going to give you my idea of what I would do. All right. So you can kind of see the view. The view gets better. All right. So then as we walk through the house, love the original tile. Um, off to the right, we have the most 70s bathroom I think I've ever seen in my life. Super groovy tiles. But yeah, uh, old windows needs to be redone. So total redo, unless you like the groovy vibe. Um, and then, so yeah, there are some challenges in the house, like I said, but the bones are good and the view, so the view, let me show you the view from, well, you can't see because they have plastic over it, but the view gets better upstairs. So here's the main living room and it has this window into the bedroom that's behind there. So, all right, let's just take in the space. Let's just take in the space, right? 1950s. Here we are. Um, and then over here we have the kitchen. So what had happened is the roof upstairs uh, fell apart and there was water leakage in here. And so they had to support this because they did fix the roof and the roof is beautiful. And I'm going to show you that. So there has been some water damage. Now there is an up upstairs space and it, there used to be a connection between the two levels with a stairwell that came down here. So just keep that in mind. So here is the kitchen, right? Okay. And this window that kind of overlooks your patio and stairs down. And then this is like the bedroom. So also uh, some water damage issues. So you'd have to redo that. And then you have this awkward window right over here, <laughs> spying on your guests. But yeah, so a lot of little things that need to be done, little things. These are pretty major, but the roof was redone and redone very, very well. So it's just uh, a couple structural beams in here and redo the, the ceiling. But let me show you guys upstairs, all right? So let's go. Of course, I'm wearing heels like an idiot, but it's, uh, it's Italy. You know, you have to dress fabulous all the time, even when you're house hunting in medieval villages. All right, so then you walk up these stairs, right? And this main street leads into uh, the old... Old Town Square of Montauro. So super walkable, super cute. Imagine all of, imagine this all painted with flowers everywhere, all those bright Italian flowers, all right? And then this walks out to the street, right? And here you are, super cute. And then you have this space. So this is like, 
this massive cantina and look at the roof so he said that they did like massive insulation triple insulation so that there would never be any more water damage but he explained that this was complete this had completely fallen down and so because of the water damage over 20 years it it, it there's some problems downstairs so let me just show you the view hello good morning Ionian Coast. So basically, Caminia is right there. Montauro is right there. Montepona is right next to it. And then Sobrato is right there. So, I mean, the views from here are spectacular. So, yes, this right now is not connected to the downstairs. So what I would do is I would open it up, all right? And I would put the stairs going all the way down. And I would actually put the kitchen up here, all right? So I'd have the main door be here massive kitchen overlooking you know and then go downstairs and i would put maybe two bedrooms and a a big fabulous bathroom right and and have it be that way and have the stairs downstairs i just love this roof i think they did a great job i love the choice of wood imagine all these walls white big open kitchen with we could maybe even open up the windows put some balconies out here um, have a stairwell going downstairs and couches overlooking this view. Maybe even put in more windows. I would like to open up this whole wall if I could. So anyways, um, so lots of options. And then you could go downstairs and then have like your master bathroom, master suite, and maybe an extra guest room. Hello. So the price he's asking is 48000 if you are interested, contact me directly, calabriadreaming at gmail.com. I would estimate a probably around 40 to 50 to fix everything that you need to fix and turn it into like uh, a fabulous living space, to be honest. What really gets me is the garden out there. I mean, it looks uh, like it needs some love, but imagine it well done. I can imagine, and I know because you can see a lot of these places have been redone. Some haven't and some have, and the ones that have, they look amazing. So I know that it's possible. And then you would be in Montauro, which is super, super cute. And you guys, the drive up here is amazing. Hi, Joseph, this is the owner of the house. <laughs> so as you walk down these little cobblestone streets, there is little restaurants and a pharmacy. And like, this is the actual entire house. It's quite big. It's old, but it needs love. But imagine it well done, you guys. So freaking cute. So email me. Check out my Instagram. And thanks for coming with me as always. I'm going to leave you guys with this view. Ciao.